Hello guys, thank you for tuning in to the Task for Life channel. I thought I'd go ahead and just start this video and make it. I hit a snag with the XV250 build. That's another video, but I hit a snag basically. I have to go get drill bits. But in the meantime, I need to spray this hammock and uh, let it be drying. I bought one of them cheap eBay hammocks. Pretty cheap. Link in the description below. And it's got an anime go on it, which is awesome, I think. Yeah, it, it's a putty hammock. That was a pretty good angle, I guess. But anyway, the hammock is just basically, as you can see, a thin coat of clear coat over it. It's basically a sticker, and they just, it's super thin. I mean, it's hammock up hardly any quick coat over it. So what I'm going to do is I actually want this hammock to last a little bit is uh, teach you how to recreate your welding hammock. If you buy one of these cheap ones give it more durability and better shine. So the first thing you want to do is get your hammock quilt. So let's go quilt this. So anyway, you will need a red scotch bite. You can use sandpaper 400 to 320 I recommend 400. I like 320, but when you're dealing with just a quick coat, 400 is kind of the go-to, especially on a DA. But you don't want to DA something like this. You want to do it by hand. Uh, but out of all, if I had the choice and I had it on hand, a wet scotch bright is the best thing. You want to take your wet scotch bright. Don't take much. This is all we need, and scuff. Every bit of this you can get to. Since we are dealing with clear coat, it will turn white and dull and dingy when you get it scuffed. Just like so. As you can see, it's dinging out. This uh, opens the paint up so it can receive new paint and helps it bond. It does more than just put scratches in your paint. It's actually helping the paint Bond with the new paint. Now, as I'm rubbing this hammock in awkward positions, as you can see, uh, maybe buying this hammock wasn't such a good idea. Anyway, you want all the gloss dinged out and the shine took off of it. So let me go ahead and finish uh, sanding this. Okay guys. This is the hammock. It's all dinged out. It's more of a flat looking. And that is because we have scuffed all the quick coat. I ain't scuffed the inside yet. I'm debating on if I should quick coat the inside or not. If I do decide not to quick coat this, then I will mask it off on the inside so no over before you get to it. But I actually might go ahead and just quick coat it all. I don't know. I'll probably just mask it. Yeah, I guess we decide before we spray the paint. Well, I'm going to finish prepping this, which the next step will be taking wax and grease remover or rubbing alcohol and water. Now, if you wanted to, you could scuff the inside of this, but this has not been quick coated or anything before, so you will have to put a adhesion promoter on this plastic if you scuff the inside. The outside has got quick coat already on it. The sticker has been quick coated over once upon a time not very good you get what you pay for but as i was saying it has been quick coated once before so we do not need a adhesion promoter on the outside of this the next step will be taking alcohol and water that helps take static out of the plastic you can use alcohol and water now to you know wash this down and you want to do it wipe it full you don't want to wipe it fast because it puts static in it so take your time God, with a perverted 
just take your time and weld the hammock. Yeah, that working on a hammock like this, there ain't much you can't say that don't sound naughty. But anyway, take your time and rub the hammock. Don't do it fast. Just because you build up static electricity, if you use alcohol water, it helps take that away. So just take your time and try not to build up any static. I keep dust out of your cook hole. So I'm going to go ahead and take alcohol and water to this and then we will mix up some cook oat and get the spray. Okay guys, here's the hammock. We done took alcohol and water and cleaned it off with it. We also took a nice uh, tack cloth. Now the alcohol and water should take, keep the static away and that should keep some of the dust down. I am painting this kind of outside so it is a still day. We got the 51 covered up, most important part, the windshield to keep all the spray off of it. I ain't too worried about the old paint because that's all going to be stripped off very soon. Upcoming videos, you know, hit that subscribe button. So, let's get to clear coating. What we are using is Trinity 1945 Starfire Clear. That's what we're going to be putting on this and it's going to be shot with a 1.4 Camel Hossfield gun. Yes, not a fancy gun, just a Camel Hossfield. So let's get to spraying. It's not done yet. This is the first coat. I'm going to put two coats on this hammock. So now we start the last coat. Medium wet coat. Okay guys, we got the hammock. It's been a few days since I, you know, it took me to finish this video because I actually went ahead and actually cook coated it again. Uh, we uh, installed a couple stickers and cook coated over them. And I think it gives the hammock a little bit more character than uh, what it has. Has some pretty good character on it. Yeah. Made it stand out from the other ones. Link in the description if you're interested in this hammock. But now it's the final process assembly. Because we got it painted. So we got a box, and in it we got our stuff put your head so you don't go blind and so it don't fall out oh we're good so let's get assembly so I guess you guys gonna get a quick how to assemble a welding handle so basically we got our tools and the pieces we need. So let's go ahead by first making sure your shield cover is installed and you got this thing attached. Should have a little piece of plastic here. You can buy these extra so don't worry if you kind of destroy them. But this should go to, this don't come with instruction by the way. I'm just kind of just going on uh, common sense. So. Side. Does this go on? This goes on this side. I'm going to take this and stop. Just like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the cover for the screen. I'm dropping like all the stuff here. We got an extra lens. Just one. But here's the cover. And does this go on the outside? Nope, it goes on the inside. So no worries, we turn it around. This guy goes one way, he installs, just like so. It does got a washer on it and 
I do need to take this nut, this tap off, a washer. So yeah, I call it a washer. Stick it through. Now this fits on one way. It's got a notch. Now we should have four screws. That's two of them. One, two, three, four. So next step is installing this guy. Well, we can go ahead and install the knob, I guess. Which is this. This goes on first. And then, of course, this nut goes on. You can use two different styles of tools. We got some pliers and then we've got a fit off. So we just try to fit all out because I think it started. Now it is easy strip, so don't go all crazy with it. And you need to install this guy. Best way to do it, just make sure it's turned all the way. I think that's pretty well just off, so go ahead and just put it on that. Let's see. It's all the way over, and this is all the way up. So that would be 13. We'll put that on the 13. It just sets on like so. And then it should be right here on vine. And you can go up here to shade. It should work out fine. I don't know if it's working or not. As I can't tell. I can't tell if you guys can see that or not. I'm hoping you can. Now once you get that, you can go ahead and install your nut. Just like so. Now by loosening it, you should be able to tilt it. And it come to a good stop. Okay, that's pretty much the hammock assembled now. You can pick these hammocks up. They ain't very good quality, but you know, they're usable and they're doable. I have used this hammock before. I actually uh, re quilled it and added the stickers. You can see it in some of my videos, especially of XV250 solo seat install. I'm using this hammock. 
It's a great conversation piece, draws lots of attention. Every guy should have one. And it's affordable. I mean, it's affordable enough, you could actually buy a couple of them, have them for spares. I quick coated mine because when I got it, the quick coat was peeling up. Well, basically, the sticker was coming up, and they didn't do a good job with the quick coat. So, it looks a whole lot better, and it'll be a whole lot shinier than if you ordered one. But it was just some extra work, and the hammer should last longer. So, does it fit? The hammer is working. A little bit loose, needs a little bit of adjustment. So yes, the hammock fits. Anyway guys, the hammock fits. It's actually auto darkening. Well, I used it and it worked great. I don't know if it's got an off switch. I have not found that yet. Uh, ain't got instructions, so I guess I gotta wing it. Yeah. So, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel for more content, more videos. It needs more adjustment. And, uh, hit that subscribe button. I push it if you do. Got tons more videos coming. Very soon. Tons of stuff in store. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Check back daily because I upload daily content. And stay tuned. And drop some comments. See you next time.